What up, guys? This is Rancer90. Welcome to more Stock Car Extremes. Um, as you can see from the title, I am racing in the Metal Moro MR18 at Bonus Aries, the um, number 15. So, I'll be discussing about the race as well as some of the other things that are happening because there are a lot of exciting developments that are coming like right now, actually. So, um, let's talk about what's happening with Pizza. So, there was a recent update that I'm not racing here, which is the, uh, the 1984 Opalas, I believe, as well as a new historic track at a circuit that I do not know how to pronounce, so I will not try to pronounce it. It is Star's Victory. Yeah, yeah. Jaga. Jaga. I don't even know. Either way, there has been, if you're following on the uh, forums at Race Department or just on Reddit or if you just follow on Twitter, you will know that they do have a Rita crowdfunding campaign we're going on right now on Indiegogo. Indiegogo. So they're trying to get some money to help expand on their current product as well. Uh, actually, it's just expand on their current product. None of the money here will be going to the new, um, the new sim that they will be doing in quarter four of 2016. So they, so they managed to get the ISI motor engine, G motor engine, I believe. So, but. The focus on the campaign is to improve the current product, which is Stock Car Extreme right now. So, I will leave a description, a link in the description. So, if you can support it, great. It is a very, very good title. I highly, highly recommend it. It's probably my top two or three titles that I really enjoy. So. Um, let's see here. They have a lot of new plan features. Well, preferred features that they're trying to improve on based on how much funding they have. So things like graphics, audio, physics, as well as of course new content which includes um, the Super V8s which is basically the V8 supercars which I believe that um, it will be going in GameStop on screen because they technically did another Indiegogo campaign with the, the modders that were working on the, uh, the bodies of the cars and whatnot, and it started helping me with the physics and sound. Take a double, take another look at that. So, things like the Super V8s, they also have licensed the Mitsubishi Lancer Cup. There is also the Copa Montana, which is to me looks very, very familiar with the V8 supercar Utes so these pickup trucks. There's Rally Cross, there's Super Trucks, and there's some other um, improving the current content. Um, the 20 uh, F1 car, and I believe they're going to add a Honda Civic and a Renault to the Copa So, it's going to be tiered. So basically, even if it does not reach their goal, they will use the money and prove basically proportional to what they have, what they got. So I personally, I have already invested in crowdfunding because I really enjoy their products. Um, if you do have some money <laughs> and you want to start. Um, going into sim racing or I just want to see what this game is all about. It would be a really, really great idea to, to, to invest in this because I believe that the tiers that they're offering, if you get both uh, game stock card screen and from the truck, I believe you can probably save a bit of money versus um, paying it via Steam. So I, if, if you like sim racing and you haven't got this game, Seriously, highly recommend go get it. Or even just, or even just, even if you can't really afford it, maybe you can just give like ten bucks or something. 
because every little bit helps. Like, Ritsa, they haven't really been giving us a lot of pay DLC. Now the next title, um, one of the 16, there might be pay DLC. But still, they, they, they've given us a lot, a lot of content. It's always been easily, easily audible. So you, it's, it's basically... Uh, stock car extreme is basically just like buy once and you don't really have to pay so even DLC for the night you know, how much I'm into Iron Man anyways but I really 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 I can't really stress it if you have the funds and if you want to support sim racing and say have a look at it if you can afford to pay the tiers and stuff you aren't even if you have current titles like I have I mean, just, um, give it to other people <laughs> and, I'm, and, I'm st and I'm still getting the next title so that's that's really and don't forget there's also super trucks in there I don't know if I've said that or not but I really like super trucks it's really awesome and rally cross yeah excellent so I want super trucks if you want super trucks you should you should invest in so, so many things. There's also tracks and whatnot that we're gonna try and put in. So, so that is that. So on to what I am racing right now. It is, as I said earlier, the Metal Moro uh, MR18. So this car reminds me a lot about the Daytona uh, prototype. So you know, I'm racing. I've, I've raced the Riley. Uh, well. I practiced the Riley, I have not raced it yet. But it does remind me of it. I see similarities, obvious. Well, I would have to say that this car looks a lot more awesome than the Riley. <laughs> it, it sounds better. It sounds a bit better. Too, so. um, it is. That's, um, the specs. It uses an Audi turbo engine and it produces around 400 horsepower. Um, it also uses a stick shift sequential. Um, that is pretty much all the data that I have because I have tried checking the website to try and give you guys more information about the car itself, but um, it is A in Portuguese and 2, um, I really, well, other than the fact that I can't read Portuguese, it's that I just, just can't really find the information. So. But either way, if you have this title, it is a really, really awesome car. I really like it. It does suffer a bit of a uh, understeer and whatnot, but it is what it is, right? <laughs> um, especially, yeah, it's, it's something that I really enjoy racing. <laughs> it's quickly become one of my favorite cars, actually, but I, I, I kind of enjoy all the cars. So. The track itself, it is the Buenos Aires number 15 circuit. In Spanish, it is called the Autodromo Juan. It has the next the next letter is a Y and I do not know how what they pronounce it. It's like is it E or whatever? Oscar Galvez. So this circuit um, used to host the Grand Prix in F1. So this particular circuit, I actually there are several different configurations. I'm racing on the longest one. It is around six kilometers or three point seven miles. So my personal thoughts on the car and track. So they fit pretty well, although you can probably tell earlier through my commentary how, how much I've been praising it. So um, I practiced a bit in another different car, but I find that this one is a pretty good one. It's probably, oh, I've, asked, I've actually raced this track with some mod cars, um, specifically, I believe, the Ferrari versus the Porsche. But there's a bit of a bit of a problem with the AI, so I'm just gonna stick with base content. I've realized playing this game a lot, and how and how the AI races with my content. It's a bit up and down. It's not as reliable, I should say, versus the race versus um, versus the base content. So. Um, this this circuit I actually really really enjoy. There's a good mix of corners. I like the flow. There's 
high speed corners, especially, um, I believe, in turn, turn three. Turn three is a, turn three, I really, really like that corner. And then after that, you go on to that really, really long straight. I've actually, with my setup, I've actually had to um, increase the, uh, the gear ratios just so it can actually blow up, <laughs> to say the least. So, um, let's see here. On, on setup wise, it was, it was as hard as some of the other cars I've had. Uh, I've changed the gear ratios, I've changed the, the game for the caster. I lowered the gear, the rear wing to 2 degrees. I realized that putting it to 1 makes it just way, way too unstable and you, the rears just, just, you just, they, they, they just, um, sorry for that. <laughs> they just, just want to spin, you know? <laughs> so, so it's, uh, so I just kept it at 2 degrees. So, but uh, as you can see during the race so far, um, maybe I should have put it down to a 1 because draft-wise I can't really get past it. It's stable in the long run if you exclude a uh, couple spins that I've had so far. <laughs> so, uh, for the AI in this race, I put it at 100. So remember my first video with the um, Brazilian stock cars at... Uh, Historic Imola, I put it at 90, I believe. I put it at 90, I believe. Yeah. This one I put it at 100 with 80% aggressiveness, which I feel it's a bit, it's good enough. It's the AI, the AI are aggressive enough where they just don't follow the leader, but they're not too aggressive in the sense where they go dive bomb in every single corner. A little bit of dive bombing, but it's nothing that I can't. <laughs> it's nothing more than what I've done seen in iRacing, so. I, and I like the aggressive racing here because it, it makes me aggressive. Not, like, as you can see some, I don't think it would. Really, I was a, I was very aggressive in this race. <laughs> even though, even though, uh, later on, as you can see right now, it's not really a lot of, uh, I'm just chasing the car ahead, but still. In most of the races that I've done, I like, I like this. Um, mix of uh, guys pushing me and me pushing guys. <laughs> so, um, it's, I believe that is really. Do I have anything else to say? Not really. <laughs> All I'll say is that um, this, in this video, I actually do not. Also, yeah, in this video, I actually do not have the the helmet cam and whatnot because um, a it kind of got on my nerves a little bit. It's just so much information overload, so I kind of didn't want to really do it anymore. And the second part was because um, the HUD actually does not work on this car. It works on the, all the other cars, even the new Impala. I mean, Opala. Opala. But this car somehow does not work, so I'm not too sure why. I, ca I have searched the internet. I cannot find a fix for that. But right now I don't really want to use that. I still I did not activate any mods I believe in this in this, uh, in this race. Spotter still does not work during the race unfortunately, so I'm not really too sure what how to fix that. And I believe yes, that I believe that is it. Once again I will say at the end, please, please, please uh, go see the um Ritza crowdfunding. I will once again leave it the link in the description because they are awesome. They give us so much content, and why wow, it's 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 a, it's they have I really like it. That's really all I've said. Everything I'm, I've said a lot of good things about it, so, so I'm trying to spread just trying to spread the word about how good this game is because I believe this game is probably the best that not a lot of people have heard of. Because it's been on Steam for a while now, but still compared to the mainstream games like Project Cars, Assetto Corsa, um, probably just, um, Race Room, Race Room Experience, um, Dirt, Formula One, iRacing. There's you can never have enough things. Because there's just 
It's just that the more people that go into the same race, I believe it's better for the community. It's more people, more competition, and all these different companies, including Risa. I've seen a lot of great development. It's like, wow, it's like, <laughs> these, these, it's like, oh, I forgot, don't forget our factor. Can't forget our factor. <laughs> It's like all the all these different um, developers are just trying to push through the boundaries of what they have right now. So once again, please, if you can, if you can spare some money, <laughs> I'm actually I'm not affiliated with Rita by the way, even though I've said a lot of good things about them. So yeah, um, if you haven't um, crowdfunded, this is a really really good venture. Um, that is, I think that's really it. This is me, Rats Straight 90. See you next time. Cheers. Goodbye.